Courtney's Little Flowers with another episode of A Merry Space with Nisi. Have you ever asked yourself this question? Why do we drive ourselves crazy when the holidays are approaching? We are hustling and bustling, ripping and running, our adrenaline is out of control, going overboard, doing things, doing this and that to please others. Our nerves are on edge because we have thoughts and fantasies of having the perfect holiday. All those wonderful gatherings, and you want it all to go well. There are so many holidays to celebrate with our families. However, if the holiday is around the Christmas season, let me tell you, this brings on another level of pressure and expectations. We worry about spending extra money and gifts. Should I use cash or credit cards to make purchases? What gifts to buy? What are the hot item gifts to give our families and friends? Will they like their gifts? Now, think for a moment. Do we really need to put ourselves through this unnecessary worry and fanfare for just a few days? Then what? Do we take a deep breath, exhale, and keep it moving? Or curl up and lay on the sofa exhausted and mentally or physically drained. Which one? Don't get me wrong. Holidays are fun. I look forward and enjoy them too. Most of us look forward to the holidays, taking time off from work to spend time with family and friends, especially those whom we don't see often or just enjoy having around. However, that interaction and thought of welcoming others into our space can be like a double-edged sword, having both positive and negative effects. Everything from planning the menu, not having enough time to grocery shop because of our hectic schedules, prepping, spending hours in the kitchen cooking, hosting, and entertaining, can make the holiday season quite hectic and nervous especially when it's one person doing everything. These added responsibilities along with existing everyday stressors can really take a toll on our mental and physical strength if we don't pace ourselves. Although we love our relatives and want them around, there is something about family gatherings that can make some people feel more stressed than normal, particularly during the holidays which puts a strain on us. It makes us feel overwhelmed or unconsciously brings out the worst in some of us. Though holidays are joyous occasions, we can become overly concerned about loved ones getting together and even anticipating family conflicts since some family members may have differences in values and expectations. Something to think about. Keep in mind that some family members may show up unknown to others that they could be going through a rough period since the last time the family got together. Perhaps it could be a loss of a job or a loved one may have occurred since then, a relationship breakup or whatever. So these are things to take into consideration and be cool should you recognize that something could be going on with the individual. You know something? We all grow up. It's not like when we were kids or teens feeling overly excited to see our cousins. Of course we want to see our family members. However, we all change over time. With time, everything changes. So it is impractical to recapture the same excitement as an adult. When we mature and become adults, we think and act differently. We see things through different lenses. We have our own opinions and make our own choices. So when we get together as adults, there's not that much excitement. However, among everything we are juggling, we still want to be with our families because it is a necessity and it's important to gather and make memories so we won't have any regrets later. Granted, spending time with family is important. You can bet your last dollar that at least one person in the midst will try their best to push our buttons. It's guaranteed. 
constant questions about personal life comes up. How is your career or job going? When are you getting married? Any plans for kids? Questions about eating habits? Talk about physical body changes may pop up. Even political views may come up. Don't fret yourself. Keep it cool. Just stay the course, even though you may want to respond. It wouldn't hurt to pretend or be nice and get along when you ain't really feeling it, as they say. You are human, so if you experience any of these dreadful moments, just go with the flow. They won't last forever. Frankly, all this stress and worry happens because we tend to have unrealistic beliefs and expectations of how or what holidays should look like. Though most of us agree that holidays can be a frantic time for many, especially if we have to leave our comfort zone for a few days or so. Yes, these anxieties can really trigger new experiences when we are away from our normal day-to-day -day routine. In reality, don't pressure yourself to plan the most perfect holiday gathering. That notion can weigh you down. I can tell that unrealistic expectations, when you feel pressure, can cause a lot, a lot of frustrations. So don't expect to plan the perfect holiday to go off with a bang. Of course, some of us have large families and want to ensure everyone is happy when we congregate, which might not necessarily be true. No doubt, some people are happy to see each other, but others may not. Look at it this way. Being around family members who tend to drive you crazy is not the end of the world. Once you know why they push your buttons to drive you crazy, by now you should be able to handle the situation since you're familiar with their behavior and why they pluck your nerves. Let it go. Don't focus your energy on things that don't hold significant importance. So try to remain calm throughout the time they are in your presence to prevent any family feuds. When it's all said and done, holidays are joyous occasions and offers positive experiences for us to enjoy ourselves and spend time with family and friends because before you know, the holiday season will pass and gone bye-bye. Also remember to practice mindfulness and appreciation. Give gratitude. These are rather important during the holidays because everyone deserves to enjoy the flavor and feel appreciated. However, if you feel that holiday gatherings are too much for you to handle, use one coping mechanism like isolating yourself. There's nothing wrong with creating sustainable and realistic self-care practices during the holiday season. Sneak in some alone time for yourself and engage in activities that can help to recharge your mind and body so you can be your best, just in case you change your mind and feel like mingling. Now, if there's a lot of holiday turmoil and hoopla going on around family gatherings during the holidays, try not to set off more firestorms. Instead, keep it light, start positive conversations, and stay engaged even with those who get on your nerves. It's worth the while because when it comes down to the wire, all the fun, laughter, delicious foods, and so on, create a sense of togetherness and an opportunity to strengthen strained and broken family relationships. The beauty about the holiday season and family is that it brings together a mix of people with different personalities, and only when we spend time and have conversations with them will we know each person's uniqueness. So give it a try. Listen, let bygones be bygones. Be flexible, be kind, be grateful. Remember, we can perfect what we haven't practiced. So let us engage in traditions that can nourish our social, mental, and emotional well-being. And most of all, loving, maintaining, building, positive family relationships and doing what matters is 
rather important. That's it for now, and I thank you for listening to Mary's Speech with Nisi. Until next time, be safe and healthy.